Hi, this is Mark from Indie Filmmaker. Today's tutorial is going to be a very, very basic one on how to create shadows in Element 3D version 2. I have to say I'm really excited about this new version of Element 3D because creating shadows makes it all real. So let's get started. We're just going to grab our video footage, drag it into our project uh, area here. Let's create a new comp. So we have light coming from a window giving us a very gentle uh, water bottle shadow on the table. So that will be something that will be good to model our Element 3D shadow on. Let's create a new layer for Element 3D to sit on. We'll go up to Solid, Element 3D, click OK. Then we'll go up to Effect, Video Copilot, Element, click on Scene Setup. Okay, let's go over to Motion Design and we'll grab, let's see, maybe a piston. Click OK. Now you'll notice that the piston is in Group Folder 1. In order for us to have our shadow sit on something, we have to create a plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click New Group Folder and we're going to change that second group folder to uh, group 2. So that will keep our shadow and our element 3D object separate. We'll be able to move the object up from the table and have our shadow follow it, but the shadow will stay on the table. So that's why we want to do that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go to create. There's our new plane. We'll go up perspective, perspective top, and then we'll just resize that to give us the floor where the shadow is going to sit on. Click OK. OK, let's change my video layer here to 3D and the element 3D to a 3D layer. Now, in order for us to see shadows, we're going to have to go into the render settings and click on shadow and make sure that shadows is enabled. Also, ambient occlusion as well. Let's go to a world transform and we'll just angle that a little bit so we can see our plane. Let's scale the whole thing up a bit and let's move it back onto the table or thereabouts. Now in order for us to cast a shadow we're going to need some lights. So let's go up to layer, new, light and we'll start with just a general lighting of the scene ambient light uh, let's set that to about 60 percent we'll click OK next to cast our actual shadow we're going to go up to layer new light and this will be a spotlight that's going to give us our shadow click OK Oh, actually, before we do that, let's uh, we're going to bump up our shadow quite a lot so that we're going to make it very clear where that shadow is. Okay, now we don't need our plane anymore. So let's go back into Element 3D, Scene Setup. Go to the Plane Model, Default. Make sure that you're on the Materials tab. Go to Advanced, and here's the trick. Click on Match Shadow and that will make your plane invisible so the shadow will now sit on the table and it's a, it's a very ugly shadow at that. Okay, let's move our piston a little bit. Let's see, let's move them over here, get them away from the water bottle a little bit. Okay, you'll notice that our shadow is facing the wrong way because our light's coming from the window. So we want the shadow to be a little bit more like the shadow coming from the water bottle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click Spot, hit P, for position. I'm on a Mac, by the way. Yay. Then I'm just going to enter some uh, coordinates. X will be 340. Y minus 170. And Z is minus 110. Now that should put the shadow in behind us. And let's uh, let's lighten up that shadow a little bit because it's it's pretty dark. So we'll click on spot again 
And let's move this down to somewhere around there. Oops. And click OK. And there you go. That's uh, basic shadow. Let's see. Let's move up the ambient light a little bit too, I think. There you go. Okay, now if we go into Element 3D, we're going to move our object around by going to Group 1, Particle Replicator, and we should be able to move our object up, and the shadow will stay on the table, which is what we want. Oops, there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please leave any comments or questions in the field below, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.